I just wanted to take a couple of minutes to say thank you. I want to thank Katy Perry, thank YouTube, and thank everyone else involved in removing a particular scene from the Dark Horse video, which was which showed the name of Allah, the name of God around someone's neck. And I really, from the bottom of my heart, really appreciate this gesture, and I'm sure millions of Muslims around the world also appreciate this. Now, as a way of saying thank you, I want to just take a minute or two and share something with you. Give you a gift if you like. And the best gift I can give as a Muslim to you is share the message of Islam with you. Now, so if Katy Perry is watching this, you know, I, I really hope and pray that you can give me a couple of minutes of your precious time to just hear me out and I'm sure this will really benefit you. So the message of Islam is very simple. God exists. He is one. He's uniquely one. He's not a man. He's not the son of man. He doesn't look like a human being. As God says in the Quran, Laysa kamitli hishay. He's unlike anything we can imagine. He exists and he created us. He created us with a simple purpose, which is to worship him. We're here to worship him and worship doesn't hold the negative connotations as it does in the English language. Worship is comprehensive. Everything we do is a form of worship, helping people, giving charity and so on. And that we will return to him once we die. And I know you're very busy and you don't probably have time to think about these things, but the reality is all of us, we will get to a point in life where we have to reflect over these realities. We have to think about these things. And for some of us, it's when we reach our deathbeds. And that's when we realize everything I've had, all this material, money, houses, cars, nothing's mine really. I'm not taking any of this with me. I'm going to leave it all behind. Even our physical bodies, we realize we don't even have control over these. We don't even own them. And this is the reality. So I really hope and pray that you go away from this. You, you pick up a copy of the Quran, you read it, you study it for yourself and you benefit from it. May God bless you and may God guide you.